welcome to my channel. So I thought I'd just jump on and do a quick reading. Catherine, Princess of Wales, has been in Norfolk today with the Queen's Tribune Guards and she is Colonel-in-Chief. She was there to just show support, talk to the families of servicemen and women and she was like rocking around in a tank. She was in camo, she looked amazing and I just thought well, Harry and Meghan are terminally online. I mean, terminally online, Googling what everyone else is doing. Probably, probably at this point, everywhere, to be honest with you. Absolutely everywhere. So we are going to have a look and see what Harry thinks of his sister in law doing the, um, of course, being part of the armed services and wearing military fatigues combat fatigues i think it's called i don't know so um yeah so i don't know i know i've just done one about his medals and it is remembrance sunday and armistice day this weekend there's a lot going on um there's a lot of military stuff going on my other half as you well all know is a veteran so um i have got the utmost respect for the armed services so please don't take this in any way other than it is meant to be looking into h how we this one this isn't a slight at catherine at all how does harry feel about this oh speaking of the armed services i am giving away i make them myself it's a saint johnny prayer candle yes that is johnny thompson i'm giving away a prayer candle on my channel as well as some tarot cards when we hit 7,000 subscribers so please share this video about and let people know about my little channel here on YouTube the more the merrier thank you so let's have a look and see what Harry thinks of this I am using the garbage pail kids tarot I usually use this for Harry and the mushroom was on as well so let's see Let's see where we get into. Okay, that one wanted to come out. Oh, okay, Knight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Look, he is furious, raging, and he's got nowhere for this rage to come out of. This is stunted. This is bitter he sees it as a slight to him that Catherine he sees it's weird when you're doing all these energy readings he's got this kind of love hate just the position with Catherine he doesn't want her to succeed and he but I think if she walked in the room his face would light up it's really he's got this really kind of weird love hate thing really weird and he seems to somehow think she's either his equal or lesser than at the same time as well um so yeah what's crossing over the chariot moving forward a journey interesting trying to pull things together i suggest that this means that the harkles are going to try and do something with regard to remembrance sunday armistice day veterans day they are going to try and pull something out the bag so i don't know if they've traveled somewhere for it but they're trying to be so so controlled so controlled here now harry is um a virgo so he would come out as either the hermit or the the king or knight of pentacles um and of course catherine is a capricorn and she is they're both earth signs so she would come out as queen of pentacles um what to <laughs> what do we know about this whole thing what of course it's the Queen of Wands. Now, Megan is a Leo. She would come out as the Queen of Wands as she is a fire sign, a Leo. And the Queen of Wands relates to a person who is a fire sign. So we all know 
that he's going to say, like, Megan wasn't given any military roles and Megan wasn't welcomed into the military side of um, things. And he, I wonder if they're even going to say that Megan should have been like, when, do you know when they lay the poppy reefs at the cenotaph? I wonder if he's going to turn around and say, oh, we and Megan wanted to lay a reef together, but they wouldn't let it. And she had to stand on the balcony with Camilla and Sophie and mur, 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 mur. And Megan should have. Megan should have done something because she's just so brilliant. So, yeah, I wonder if he's going to say something like that. Hmm. What's under this situation, the world in reverse? I really feel like he is out on his ass when it comes to the royal family, especially in his current incarnation. He's going to have to eat a lot of crow and do a lot of... Um, do a lot of apologies to mend any fences he has with the royal family. As long as this one's about, this one being Megsy Poos, that's not going to happen. Uh, the world in reverse here, he doesn't like other people getting attention. He doesn't like other people almost. He sees attention of people getting accolades that he feels he should get some kind of as some kind of some kind of loss to himself, a tarnish on his behalf. He really does read into that. He reads into everything absolutely the most. Possibly the worst takes you could get that he reads every he takes everything the wrong way and really poorly, to be honest. The full risk. Okay, so we are going to be hearing some things about a. They've already complete. They've done something stupid, and we are about to. We are going to find out what that is. There's a big risk, um, and it is going to bounce back off them. A very big risk in the past with the fool in reverse and the nine of swords in reverse. I wouldn't be surprised if we are going to get lectured about mental health as well. Yeah. There's the king of wands. Okay. And there's the king of swords. Interesting. So he feels really frustrated and tied in with this he doesn't know which way to go um the eight of coins what i think is the eight of coins upright is hard work and putting the work in and it all paying off at the minute it seems like he is spending money on pr and it's not gaining him anything i think they've decided to scrap that and by the way they're behaving the modus operandi they're going back to I know best, but he is still tied up. He doesn't know necessarily how he wants to approach maybe Catherine being in the middle military. He doesn't, he can't lash out and say, oh, she's she's not done anything. She's never seen active service or anything like that because it'll make him look petty. But he's very close to doing that, but he's tied in and not allowed necessarily to say that I think he might have actually learned a lesson but he's not going to put in the hard work and be seen as like that military person ever again if he keeps on with this trajectory that he's going on the king of wands is here now the king of wands interestingly enough I feel like this is Amid, amid Scabies' book coming up, it, we could be getting something with that daft photographer, you know, um, the one that was linked to Boris Becker, that weird guy who only started photographer, being a photographer at 40. Grifters, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Yeah, we, we might be getting something like that. He might have photographed a windswept Harry and Megsy bumping around a graveyard somewhere, laying in a reef somewhere. I don't know whether they'll be in, if they'll 
go over to Hawaii again or whatever. There's something. And we have the King of Swords in reverse as well. So the King of Swords in reverse. It doesn't look good for Harry when it comes between his sister-in-law and him. He is, he is going to try and say anybody who's really done military service, two big words that trigger him, military and service, he is going to try and scoot that into being all about him again. The King of Swords in reverse, he's going to come across as being petulant, cruel, unnecessarily heavy-handed, um, a manipulation of the truth. But the King of Swords is in reverse. So I'm wondering if he's got involved with some shady characters that we're going to hear about further down the line, characters and acquaintances that will do him no good at all. But we're going to hear about mental health next. It's going to be weaponized. So there we go. That is what I see. It's just a quick, sh quick one. But the cards have been very, very to the point. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens next. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please share this reading about. It helps my channel out. Thank you very much for all the support, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.